Amazon KDP. This is a side hustle that promises the world. If you look at the screen in YouTube, you can see tons of people saying that they've been making millions. I'm going to teach you step by step what is KDP, how you can use it, and how I have been using it. Warning, I am a lawyer. You know what that means? That means that if anyone is going to fail in this business, it's probably me. I decided to start publishing KDP kids books, children's books. I started this journey only 10 days ago. I published my first book probably five days ago. Today, which is July 1st, 2024, published my second book. Let's go step by step. This is Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. What is this basically? Kindle Direct Publishing, you can see here, when you press join KDP, I have already joined. You have to go to kdp.amazon.com and then join KDP and then you fill out your account. If you already have an Amazon account, your password should be the same password and try to use the same email you've always been using. You basically need to fill in some tax information and your payment system. It is important to note that same as Amazon to merge on demand and same as other Amazon websites, a Kindle pays directly to your bank account that is in the US and looking at some alternatives because it will depend on which country you are on. But having said that, you can do this from everywhere in the world, okay? And you can offer the books you publish anywhere in the world through Amazon. What are the pros? The pros that I see, at least for me, is that in Amazon, you do have a great exposure. Also, you have a lot of competition, but you really do not have to drive clients to your product. You just have to make them stand out, right? And second, they do everything for you. So you do not have to print, you do not have to send. You will get a royalty after this and you will be able to set your price for your book and what amount of royalty you want to get. So after you create an account here, I have my own KDB account, which is not the point, And I will make my next video will be about how to upload on Amazon in each different format. But for now, Okay, for now, I'm just going to go, this is section one, I'm going to go into chapter two, which is, it's about how, or what kind of books you can create. Well, from what I've gathered in all my hours and hours of YouTube tutorials, basically most people are doing what are called low value or low content books. That means coloring books, puzzles and uh, journals and notebooks and all that sort of thing. For that, there is a website, let me see if I can find it here, called Book Vault. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Print on demand asset, Book Vault, that's it. Book Vault. Okay, so Book Vault is said to be believe this is the one i haven't joined it because i do not want to spend any money yet so having said that you have though this is a very good platform for low content books third part of being a kdp member you need to find your niche so first you need to decide if you want to make a high quality or a low quality book basically right so If you look at Amazon, I'll go to Amazon.com. So if you look at Amazon.com, you can see, you go to section here, books. Let me see, books, books. And you can find what you want to see. For example, children's drawing. So if you can see this, if you can see the screen, there are tons of results. And when you get this result, what you want to do is whatever your niche is, you want to look for something that do, does not have too many reviews. Like 
This one has 1,355. This one 3,042 reviews. That is too way too high for you. So you want to find something like this, for example. This has 15 reviews only. And so maybe this would be a good idea for you to, to note the links in an Excel spreadsheet. Guess what you're looking for. What you're looking for when you're finding your niche is the keywords. Once you have decided if you're going to do a low content book or a high content book, well, you need to decide what your niche is going to be. And that is going to be by keyword. So you're going to have this plugin I'm going to leave linked below. But it is important to note that I think mainly just looking at these the most you can, seeing what works, what kind of cover works, what kind of cover doesn't work. Okay, that is so important, you guys. I'm going to go to children's books because that is the topic I'm interested in. Okay, and if I go back to Amazon here, you will find you will find these things. These are sponsored content, okay? Paid ads. We will talk about paid ads, as I said. Then you have the editor's picks, which is lovely. And you want to find a dish, which this is what I did, where I can actually write something that is of some value to kids. So I looked for a niche where I could find, for me, where I could find books that were empowering to kids somehow. So basically I looked for power kits and all sorts of different kits and landed on, on self-trust and self-worth. So I did, let me see, I have, <laughs> this is not my real name, this is my author's name, okay, if I cross, so I ended up here, this is my published book, as you can see, in Kindle, I have it in Kindle, and I have it in paperback, okay, uh, if you go look there, we can press in there, so how did I get in there? Format, Kindle editions, see all formats and editions, paperback. Okay, it's key. I just uploaded this five days ago and it is my first book, so who knows? But I have to say that once you upload, you want to find, you know, your ratings. You want to find the people that have bought your book to give them some incentive to give you ratings because ratings make all the difference in the world in this business or so they say so how did i do this and this turns us to the next section 